it's Lindsay. It is so good to be back with you guys. Um, if you didn't notice, we took a little bit of a break, I guess you'll call it, a hiatus, um, from doing YouTube videos just for the month of December. Um, so I thought I would do a quick channel update to get you guys up to speed on what's been going on with Abby and I and kind of where we were in December and what our plans are for 2017. So basically what happened was coincidentally, Abby and I both got sick um, toward the middle to end of November. Mine was kind of progressive. Abby's kind of came on a little bit faster. Um, but for me, um, I needed to take some time away from the channel, mostly because my health was keeping me from being able to do much of anything. I had no energy whatsoever. I was sleeping most of the time, um, just trying to get my body to recuperate and get back to normal. Um, it turns out what I ended up having after doing tons of testing and lots of different doctor's appointments is something called adrenal fatigue. Um, mine was due to an overgrowth of yeast in my intestines. Um, which I guess those two things together can really just cause your entire body to shut down. All of your antibodies, all of your white blood cells are working hard to fight against that yeast. Your adrenal gland is working overtime to try and keep everything um, operational and it gets tired and stops being able to do the things that it normally does. Um, so that can impact one's life in every area from sleep to hair loss to weight gain to energy levels um, obviously digestion and all of that is included with it as well so it took a little while but i think we are on a great path i'm feeling so 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 much better um so i'm ready to get back to doing the channel again which is fantastic um abby on the other hand um literally on the other hand she has developed some kind of nerve issue in her wrist and hands and at first they thought it was carpal tunnel they thought it might be a pinched nerve in her wrist um, she's been going to do a lot of testing and speaking with a lot of doctors and occupational therapists as well and where they are with that now is that the nerves in her wrist are being impacted from something going on in her neck and shoulders so they think the neck and shoulder nerve issue is going down her arm into her wrist and impacting her hands. So basically the way she explains it is that she's just very weak in her hands. Like um, just basic hand movements are really tough for her. Picking up things is really heavy. At one point, even just running her hands through her hair was like nails on a chalkboard. Like she just couldn't, that, that feeling was just, just so overwhelming for her like she just couldn't stand it um there isn't any pain but there's just a lot of weakness is how she explains it so because it's stemming from her neck and shoulders that is really impacting her ability to sew because as you can imagine when you're sewing you don't have the best posture you're leaned over the table a lot you're cutting um, which that motion is really tough on the wrist you're hunched over to do um, when you're using your sewing machine so she's having to kind of take a step back from even just sewing she's not going to be able to sew near as much as um, she has in the past um, so she doesn't feel like she would be able to bring a lot to the channel right now um, just because she's not you know, producing anything that we would be able to talk about here. So it's just going to be me for a while. Hopefully this is temporary. Um, neither Abby or I have talked about this like it was a permanent thing that it was just going to be me. So hopefully she will get to be feeling better really soon and get back to sewing and then want to come back and do the channel. So if you are so inclined, feel free to send her some love either in the comments here or um, I she will still be using her personal Instagram, which is at so Charleston. So you can go send her some love there as well. So that's just a quick channel update. What you can expect um, in 2017 is just more of me. I hope that you're okay with that. <laughs> um, I guess we'll find out 
who of you out there, um, which ones of you liked Abby more than me? Abby's true fans will, will drop off now that she's not going to be on the channel anymore. But I still plan on doing all the same content that we were doing before. So all the videos that you guys really love, like um, our favor, our monthly favorites, our plans for the next month, um, you know, doing pattern reviews and showing off some of the things that I'm making and things like that. So none of that will change. It'll still be all that same great content. It'll just be from me and nothing from Abby, hopefully temporarily. So thanks for sticking with us in December. Thanks for giving us the break that we both really needed. Help to us is number one above everything else. So um, hopefully Abby will get to be feeling better now that I am. I'm ready to move forward and take on 2017 and all those awesome sewing projects that we've had in my mind for um, the past few weeks. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.